an anti-Jewish message so hateful we can't show it to you, scrawled on a garage in Beverly Hills. That's right. Ring camera photos also show a possible suspect, the latest in a recent surge of local hate crimes. KTLA Sandra Mitchell reports on the investigation. Ugly words scrawled in black ink across a garage door. It said, feed the, feed the Jews to the pigs. Scott Schulman discovered the disturbing message over the weekend. I feel targeted because I'm a Jew and I go to synagogue and uh, it targets my people, so I do feel targeted. For many years, Schulman worked as a network news photographer covering wars in Gaza, Iraq, Afghanistan. He never expected this hate in his Beverly Grove neighborhood. In this security camera video, you can see the vandal wearing a black hoodie. Schulman put up signs around the neighborhood and in the police report, LAPD calls the incident a hate crime. People are on edge. Oriana Lowenstein is the deputy regional director of the Anti-Defamation League of LA. She says hate crimes targeting Jews are way up. We've seen an explosion of anti-Semitic incidents. Um, there has been something like a 388 percent increase in anti-Semitic incidents year over year. Lowenstein tells us from October 7th, that's the day of the Hamas terror attack on Israel, to October 23rd, there were 190 Israel-related incidents reported across the U.S. For the same time period last year, there were four. It just makes me want to double down on the, on the message of love. Back in Beverly Grove today, LAPD is increasing patrols, and Schulman says he'll continue to advocate for peace. Th these are not problems that can be solved with armies or with guns or with bombs. It can only be solved with love. The, the outpouring of love and support from my community, which includes Muslims and Jews, has been exceptional. Schulman tells us he does not know why his garage was targeted, but he also says that LAPD is taking this very seriously. They've been out here several times. They have not found any other incidents of hate crime vandalism, but they also do not have any suspects. In Beverly Grove, I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News.